What's up guys, it's Big Marv here. Uh, today, we're building a Shopify store. Um, fuck, I didn't want to mute it completely. Oh, my computer wants to be frozen now. Um, anyway, so I just set up the Shopify store. And I set up the subdomain, so if you go to shop.coffinstudios.com <clears throat> you'll see my store I don't have any products up yet um, but you can see an example of how everything's gonna look I'm gonna have my developer actually go through and develop this thing so it looks good um, but I'm gonna manage all the back-end stuff which is the products that we actually sell or that we're actually going to be selling. So, what's going to make my store run is an app called Oberlo. Oberlo, um, what they do is they give you the ability to list products in your store from a from a place called Ally Express. Now, Ally Express is a company that you can order all kinds of stuff from and have it um, drop, you know, drop ship directly to your customers. It's all from Chinese warehouses, so you know it. It's cheap products, but the trade-off is it takes a while to get there. Um, but the nice thing is you don't have to manage any inventory or anything. You just set up the store and let it go. Um, and you can see here all the different kinds of stuff that you can sell through Ally Express. Clothing, electronics, accessories, all kinds of things. Um, so what Oberlo does is Oberlo talks to Ally Express's back in. They find the best shippers and things like that, and uh, they basically link it into their app and give you the option to list it into your Shopify store. So that's what we're going to do. So all you have to do when you go to your Shopify store, if you go to apps, um, if, you haven't, if you haven't downloaded it yet, you just click on the app store um, button. And then you can find a burlo. And if you don't have it, um, then you'll have the option to get it here. Okay. So if you click on the app, it's going to open the burlo dashboard. So you can just go to <clears throat> my products. That'll show you all the products that you have listed. We don't have any listed yet. So search products. So these are all the products that you have the option to search for if you want to list them in your store. So I'm going to do computer and office. Here we go. We'll uh, I'll start with this thing. So it's just a basic flash drive. What SD TF card? Actually, I'm not gonna start with it. I thought it was a flash drive. It's not a flash drive. It's a micro SD card adapter. You know what I'm gonna try? Let's see. Consumer electronics. Yeah, okay, portable power bank. Those are pretty popular. <clears throat> so, 
if you click on the product, it'll basically give you this is the product name. It's a portable power bank, external backup battery. So basically, people plug in their USB cable, and um, that's going to charge their phone. And it charges with the micro USB ports. Comes in various different colors. Blah blah blah. And it's seventy. They're seventy-seven cents each, and the shipping is two eighty-four. So if you do the math, it's about three dollars and fifty cents, give or take. Um, it's a little less than three fifty. So what I do is, so you know how much to list it for. I go to Amazon, and you find it. So cell phone power bank charger. And you just look for something similar. So here's something similar, and it's going for twelve bucks. Thirteen bucks. Ten bucks. And sometimes what you can do is you can. Um, copy and paste the title and sometimes that works out so I see the price point is typically 10 to 15 bucks twenty dollars for a little bit nicer one but it's only costing me three dollars and fifty cents so what I'm gonna do so you click to add to import list right so now you can go to import list All right, and this is where you set it up to push it to your shop. So everything, and once you do this, you have to manually go back into the shop and edit it. So the Shopify back end, there's a little bit, uh, there's a few extra steps to edit all this stuff. So what you want to really try to nail <clears throat> everything when you build it out on this here. So change the name, we're going to say... A smartphone portable battery choose collections fuck we haven't made any collections yet uh, I guess accessories <clears throat> and type accessories tag this is gonna be the tag so like if somebody organically searches Google, these are tags that, Google or any search engine, these are tags that will help them find your product. So now what I'm going to do is I'm reading their copy to get an idea of what I can type for the description. And then this stuff I'm just going to leave in there because it's some generic product information. And then your variants. 
So you can go through and individually price everything. And so there's the price of it and then the compared at price. So the price is what it's going to actually sell for. And compare at price is what we saw on Amazon. So if you if you want, you can go through and type in, in each individual box. So you can click this drop down right here and click set new value. And I'm going to sell them for $7.99. And then the compare to value is going to be twelve ninety nine. So in your store, it's going to say on sale for seven ninety nine compared to twelve ninety nine. And then images, you can check here which images you'd like to keep. And I'm not going to check these because we already have these colors checked. And then when you're done there, you can just check it, push to shop. Boom, now your import list is empty, and if we refresh the page, there we go. So now you can see I have accessory listed feature product, $7.99. See, and now you can see it used to be listed at $12.99, but now it's $7.99. And because it's through the Aberlo app, the add to cart, the shipping, and everything is handled through the app. So, what you can do is you can go to orders, and then you'll see all your orders in here. You can see if they're if they've been shipped, if they have been placed, processing, canceled, etc. You can see all of the all of it here. So you can see source status, Ally Express, and Oberlo Supply. I want to show you the difference between those two. Um, I personally because Ally Express is known for um, having vendors that don't necessarily ship out quickly or you know things like that so what I like to use I, I like to use the Aberlo supply because if it's if it's from Aberlo those are suppliers that they've personally used and they get good recommendations and everything so you're less likely to experience any of those issues that you have with direct Ally Express vendors so um, you can choose to go with so if, if you go to search products that searches both a Burlo and Ally Express. If you go to a Burlo supply, that is literally just the suppliers that are approved through a Burlo. Which uh, I'm pay, you pay 15 bucks a month for this drop shipping software. So I'm gonna go ahead and pay for their suppliers too, because that's basically what you're paying for. You're paying for this functionality, and you're pl paying for you know the the confidence that you get from using their suppliers. So something else I want to show you guys. So you saw in their categories, and I didn't really have any categories set up. So our collection, sorry. So collections are just like categories. So if you go to like an e-commerce store, you'll see like men's. And then under men's, you see t-shirts, hoodies, pants, blah, blah, blah. Women, t-shirts, hoodies, pants, whatever. Electronics, accessories, smartphones, video games, etc., etc. So <clears throat> you want to build those collections out. You just go from your Shopify homepage. You go to products, go to collections, and then you can see I have the Coffin Studios collection, accessories collection, and promos. Um, so you just collect to create a collection, and so this would be like your men's, whatever. So I'm going to put electronics. And collection image would be like an image for um, like when you when you have the overall collection. So let me 
show you this. So we have Space Cakes Boutique is another store that I manage. Um, you can see they have this here, women's collection, men's collection, LGBT, right? So that, that would be the overall collection. But you can see on the main page, oh, no, that's just showing things from the collection. Let me see, let me actually go in here. Okay, so women's t-shirt. So you can see this would be like the collection image. And then these are the actual products, right? So, what I'm going to look for is a good electronics like stock image. Then you just click upload. And then your SEO down here, this is what it looks like on Google. So if somebody searches for your shit on Google, this is what it's going to come up from. Google, Yahoo, Bing, whatever. This is what it's going to come up as. All right, and so once you're done building that out, and now you can see your sales channel is going to be available on your online store. And I connected Facebook, so it's going to cross post it to Facebook automatically for me. We're going to manually select the products. Alright. So we don't have any products. I'm not going to add them there yet.
Well, Shopify is glitching out now. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm going to try to resave the image. Yeah, so the image is just way too big. Alright, so now that we have the electronics um, made and the accessories made, let's find some electronics to put on there. Here's a good one. The the new HTC charger is a type C charger, so it's a pretty common one that people need. So you see ten bucks, fifteen bucks for a four pack, ten bucks, fifteen, eight bucks. Fifteen. All right, so we're looking at eight to fifteen bucks. So it costs a little over, like three fifty-ish, a little over three fifty. So what we'll do is we'll import this, and we're just gonna build it out again.
There's someone missing here. Sorry, I'll just finish setting it up and then figure it out. So now, <coughs> the accessories. So what I'm doing now is I'm just modifying the theme to add the electronic collection to the home page. So how you do that, so you go to online store from the, the main menu, go to theme, customize your theme, and then find the section that you need to customize. Mine was here, our products which is this section and you can see the collections here you can just find different collections and add them or delete the section altogether if you don't want it so now that that's on there I'm going to refresh
there we go that's pretty much it um pretty straightforward just keep replicating those steps over and over again um till you build your shop out if you guys have any questions comments or um or if you if this helps you or if you, you maybe you have a shopify store or you're trying to figure out how to do something specific just comment below and let me know and i'll make a video for it this is big marv thank you guys for watching one love